Hi guys. So um, I'm back again. I know I've been off the grid for about 10 days or even more than that. Um, and I haven't posted anything in my social media platforms, all of my social media plat platforms that includes Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, TikTok, and Snapchat and whatnot. So, but anyway, I'm back now. So I'm here to talk about my life update. What really happened to me in those past few days and weeks that I've been gone? Because, um, yeah, a lot of people have wondered about feeling artista. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, a lot of people have wondered because you all know me that I show you every day, every part of my life, whether it's happy, sad, or whatever, working or having some fun. But for quite a while, I haven't posted anything. So anyway, so what we'll be doing today since I missed you all, is that I'm gonna do an unboxing and also a life update regarding what happened, what really happened to me. So if you remember correctly, or if you can remember, the last time I've posted in any of my social media was on the 3rd of October, which was Sunday. And then after that, I just got off the grid. So yeah, it was. it's a long story, but anyway, so this is my outfit for today. I just want to show you my outfit first. So my top is from Plains and Prints, which is me and my mama's favorite shop in the whole world, probably in the Philippines. <laughs> I'll just say in the Philippines, but for my mom, this is her favorite shop. We both have different, uh, we both have different likes in outfits and stuff. I really like sexy and revealing. She doesn't like it, but we have different tastes. We have the same taste in where we get our clothing from. So this is from Plains and Prints. And my skirt is from Pulse and Bear, I think. So this is the first time I wore this ever. And considering I got this in 2020 in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, um, I got this when I went shopping in Saigon. So yeah, this is really lovely. This is like faux leather vegan leather and um i love the green color it's my favorite color and this top is also one of my favorite top because it's it's just so classy something in it classy simple sophisticated and which can be really casual as well so yeah that's my outfit going back <laughs> my god it wasn't a tough it was really a tough time for me i tell you especially when you're alone you don't have anyone like I don't have families here I have friends but I have this personality sometimes that I want to keep things on my own um, even if I struggle I still keep things on my own not because I sort of show or imply a really strong side of me in my social media or when I'm out and about with my friends but I think that's just me I'm um, growing up alone being the only child having to be so independent with both my mom and dad separated and having to go through it on my own no one to talk to so it, i don't know maybe it's my personality but anyway um it's kind of hard it's really hard when you know when you go through something and you don't have anyone to sort of share it with like the problems and stuff so anyway going back to what really happened to me i don't know it's so hard so on the 3rd of October, this was Sunday, this was the last day that I posted anything. And this is all, this was the day when all it began. So um, I suffered severe allergic reactions. Um, it was so severe. Um, I really don't know where it came from or what triggered it. It could have been stress, it could have been food, it could have been dust, I really don't know. but one thing i'm sure is that there has nothing that changed nothing has changed with my diet or where i've been obviously because we're on lockdown so i haven't been anywhere my room is clean i always vacuum it every week and if it's an allergic to dust because i do get allergic reaction to dust especially dust mites i get really severe reaction to dust mites but i get reactions or allergic reactions to dust but i mean if it was dust it would not have just started on a sunday you know because I never changed place so also um one thing that um i'm also thinking right now is that i had my covid vaccination friday october 1 
and then the reaction started on October 3 but who knows maybe it might be from the vaccination my second dose or maybe because I have eaten something that made me um, react to it um, really badly so I will show you a photo or I will show you photos of um, the reaction that I've got on my skin so on on Monday Monday I went to White Cross um, White Cross Renewera at 6 a.m. 5 a.m. 6 a.m. because my allergic reaction was severe so I'll show you the photo now When I went to White Cross, I had um, injections on both my bum. So I think I had a uh, steroid injection on my right and then um, antihistamine on my left. And I got home with cetirizine four times a day. And so I went home, I, you know, I, I, I was so sleepy after the injection. Like, you know how antihistamine works. It makes you really drowsy and sleepy. So after the injection, antihistamine injection, anti the, after the antihistamine tablet, so I just knocked down in bed and slept. Then on Tuesday, for some reason, everything came back. Like my rashes came back and um, it's not like the way it started because at first it was just like, as you have seen in the photos, it was like, elevated red patches like in different parts of my body which is extremely itchy like it's itchy as hell i tell you i've been applying anti-itch cream on it it didn't work um putting cold compress and didn't work so it was so itchy but luckily um the only important part with it was that i didn't have any respiratory issues or something like that because you know that's the most critical part when you get allergic reaction is that when your respiratory airways or your airways get swollen, then air can pass. So luckily I didn't have that. But on Tuesday, the following day, after I went to Ascot and I had the injection, my entire body was red. Like you can't see this bone. You can't see this bone. I can't even bend my hand. I can't even bend my knees. And I was all so swollen, like I even call it elephant legs or elephantiasis because it looks like an elephant. Um, my body was so tired and um, it wasn't sore. I don't feel it was sore. I think it was just with moving because my skin is so tight. For example, my skin was like that. It was so swollen, it was so tight. The moment I like, I sort of bend like that. You know how a skin who is already stretched and you stretch it more, stretch it more? So that's how I felt. So anyway, because of that, I have to go back to Ascot again. So I'll show you the photo of my back. And um, yeah, my, my body was like a lobster. So the second time I was in Ascot, um, I was attended by another doctor. His name was Dr. Ho. Um, he's a Chinese doctor and then um, so he, he's really good I would say he's really good I mean the first one was also good but you know you can't really just I mean I, I know how it works in the medical field sometimes you just really can't um, treat things with like you know with one flick of a finger or something like that so anyway doctors Dr. Ho had seen me and um, I showed him the photos um, from Sunday evening and Monday morning. I showed him, I've, I've showed it to him. Lucky we took photos of it. And then, um, because the time that I was there, there was no elevated area or, you know, red area because all of my body is red. So you can only, it's funny because what you can see is only like what an inch of my normal skin, like, you know, brown, yellowish skin, but the rest was just like a lobster. So he told me, when I showed him the photo, he said, oh yeah, this is urticaria. And um, what you have now is Latin phase urticaria. So 
um uh, no no he said oh this is urticaria but what bothered him the most was that i have sinus tachycardia so my heart rate was 140 so he said to me um your heart rate is 140 we need to do an ekg test but you have to pay 40 dollars for it and i said okay that's fine so he did the ekg test it went it still was 135 so anyway dr ho said um, i'll talk to um the consultants upstairs because it's like um an accident a and e an accident emergency area but they also have like hospitals upstairs so he said i'll talk to the consultant upstairs so like after five minutes um or just over five minutes he came down and he told me you have to go to er so he gave me all the paperwork so then i was rushed to er straight away so um i went to auckland city hospital um emergency room department and um i don't know if i took photos then i'll just okay let me I, i'll just put some photos in there i think i took some so so you can see how my rashes look like when i was um at auckland city hospital So when I was at Auckland City Hospital, I was attended by uh, three different nurses. The first one was a Filipino. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the first one was a Filipino. He took my bloods on this arm. And um, I don't know, he he wasn't, maybe he thinks I'm not a Filipino. We, were, we weren't really talking. Oh, that's professionalism anyway. But yeah, I think he's Filipino. Um, I can tell from his accent. Maybe he thinks I'm Latina. Charata. <laughs> Or Thai, Sawadi, Ka, Ka, Pun, Ka, Charat. Um, so maybe he thought I was not of the same nationality as him. But anyway, he was nice. He took my bloods. <clears throat> and then the second nurse who came to me was an Indian nurse. So she took another set of bloods because they, they decided to take a blood culture because I was having a temperature of 38.539. And then she also did um, my COVID test, which was like the longest 10 seconds of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, I, I'll never get used to a COVID test, to be very honest. Then the third nurse was a Kiwi nurse. She's really nice, and she did my AKG test and things like that. Then the doctor came. The doctor was really good looking. I think he's South African or something, but yeah. Um, the doctor came, and he told me. He was actually the one who told me that what I'm suffering at the moment was Latin face urticaria. So, <clears throat> so meaning from those spread like elevated red marks um itchy red um patches of skin has like covered my entire body so it's a later face latin face i suppose and then he said um it's because because when i went there which is funny because when i went there apparently my um heart rate dropped to 79 and then when he came in he said it, it came up to 128 or something like that and he was like this is so funny because it was 79 and then it came up to 128 and then he said are you are you scared i said you know me i'm confident i said no i'm not scared i'm a registered nurse myself and then we talk and then he's nice it's funny because his description of me in my in his notes was like this young lady i was like oh my god i love it because he said this young lady i mean i'm obviously i'm 36 but maybe it's young for him but he's good looking dr wilhelm or something i don't know where yeah but um yeah it was it was crazy um it now i'm just sort of smiling and laughing about it and but you know at that time it was just really um depressing it was scary but i was lucky i have someone who helped me in every way in every single way along the way who took care of me and um actually who paid for everything from ascot and um how many times have I been to Ascot? And it's after hours, it's really expensive. I think it's a hundred something. So, you know, I was really lucky that um, someone took care of me and um, stood by me when I was in AC, in the emergency room in Auckland Hospital. And um, someone offered me um, a place to stay because what the doctor said, um, the doctor from the ER said that, you know, it's an allergic reaction, but the hardest thing with allergic reaction is to identify 
which caused it because yeah i told him that there's really nothing nothing has really changed with um my diet or anything that i ate or where i've been exposed so yeah so anyway he decided he told me that you know you're gonna have this medication i'm a nurse i know what he was giving me and i know what it's for and he said oh you were gonna have this so he sort of charted me 14 milligrams of prednisone for five days which to me was really long and it wasn't tapered because you know me as a nurse i know that you know um steroid should be at least tapered you know you you just I mean, you can stop. You can start high, and then you can go down slow later on. Not just like start high and then stop high. I don't know, but maybe it was something to do with my situation. It's a case of case to case situation. So I was on fifty milligrams, a uh, forty milligrams, prednisone for five days, and then cetirizine, two tab uh, two tablets, um, BD. So one tablet bd and then for five days and then the next five days would be once a day so now i've stopped it so it was it was hard so anyway this is going to be too long because i also have to unbox this <laughs> but i hope you stay with me um yeah obviously i miss talking because <laughs> after what happened i've been so silent but anyway so luckily i have I I went I did not I did not go back to my apartment because I was so scared um, that something in my apartment. So I'll open this box. This is from the iconic. I got this before I got um I had my reaction anyway my allergic reaction. So um, I was so scared to go back to my apartment because I was thinking that something in my apartment might be causing it. Because remember after my first um. A and E visit on Monday. I came back to my apartment and slept after I had my bum injections and stuff. Then it came back, so I thought something here might be triggering it. So anyway, luckily someone offered me a place to stay, so I stayed there for seven days since Tuesday. And um, but what's so funny? So anyway, this is my iconic order, and this is. <laughs> this is my polo cap so pink i'm not a pink girl but i do have a lot of pink outfits and you know if anything if anything i really love a nice cap because it's just good you know i'm i have this love affair <laughs> as you call it love affair with the sun kidding aside now i don't really like being under the sun so if I go out in the sun, I need to have a hat. So even if this was a little bit expensive for a cap, I think this was one hundred ten dollars. But yeah, you have to you have to wait because I have something really exciting here. Oh my gosh, you like you like it. Both of these are really luxury and expensive. <laughs> anyway, so this one is one hundred and ten. Oh my god, look at that. Does it suit me, guys? Shut up. So, I really love this because pink suits. Um, you can wear pink with a white top or pink top or a blue top or a green top. Doesn't matter because this is not really neon pink. This is like a, just like a normal kind of pink and it looks so beautiful. Plus, the main important the most important part is the sun i don't want the sun to get directly on my face because forever young this young lady was admitted at auckland city emergency room department shut up <laughs> the doctor was so cute he called me this young lady i love it i wish he said this young beautiful lady <laughs> i would have like fell in love with him anyway <laughs> so that's the first um uh package so going back um i was oh my god my hair is all over my face so i did not go back to my apartment i stayed um at somebody else's place because i was so scared that something in my apartment might be triggering it <clears throat> then when i got to this apartment where i was staying in the city i was still having the reactions my god it was so crazy because it comes it sort of appears after I wake up in the morning, like around 10, 9, 10, 11. And then I take my cetirizine 
because my prednisone was only OD, which is like once a day at bedtime. So, and then it appears at like 9, 10, 11, and then I go to sleep because cytorizin makes me really sleepy. Then I wake up for lunch, wake up for dinner, <clears throat> and then when I wake up around 4, it starts to appear again. And then I take my cytorizine and then take my prednisone. And it's been happening for the next three days, I think, until the fourth or the fifth day that the rashes was not um, sort of, it was slowly, slowly disappearing. So I think the last dose of um, prednisone, 40 milligrams that I took after that, I was not having maybe just one every now and again. So obviously it's really strong. I mean, 40 milligrams. Anyway, I'll open this one now, guys. So this is from Loxotica. You know what, what Loxotica is? This is like the main production company for all the luxury and expensive sunglasses. So <sighs> anyway, um, when I was not well, oh my God, how long is, how long will this video be? I hope you enjoy listening to me talking. So when I was not well, I was trying to sort of buy things or not really I don't know how to say it I was trying to do things that would make me at least superficially happy because you know what guys this is one thing me working in aged care and um, I'm, an, I'm a registered nurse in aged care and I felt that you know when something is taken away from you <clears throat> I mean, me, I know that it's only temporary. Well, I was hoping, and obviously in the later part of my treatment, I knew that it was temporary because it was going away. But I feel like to the people who are, you know, who got sick of something really bad or have an accident and get incapacitated or like the old ones that I look after, <clears throat> it's so depressing that, you know, they can't, do the things that they used to do or want to do and um yeah it just don't gives you the will to live you know you get what i mean um that's why i think when old people go to like an aged care place or wherever they just it's just like maybe the mark of like the end of their lives because yeah when you don't have the will to live you would not want to live you don't want to wake up you don't get excited everything in you is just not you know it's just low so that's one thing i realized when i got sick because when i was sick i've always been saying i really want to go back to work i don't want to be lying in bed and i feel so helpless i feel so unproductive i feel so worthless actually these ones had made to some extent made me happy um during those times i mean it's very superficial but at least that was the only thing I don't have my mom, I don't have my parents, I don't have, um, I wasn't telling any of my friends apart from the few ones who I told about it. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't easy. Anyway, let me just open this. This is actually, you know, this one. I've been wanting this for so long. I tell you, maybe two years or three years have I wanting this but it was so expensive um I was like I'll wait until it goes down I'll wait until it goes down it never went 50% off <laughs> never um but luckily I think I got 20% off this time <laughs> maybe because maybe because they knew I was having an allergic reaction or urticaria or something but yeah sunglass hat hot so to the Filipinos who are watching, who are probably most of my followers anyway, it was so funny because I, I don't know if you remember when Chris Aquino was mentioning about her urticaria journey that she has to go to Singapore to do immunology. By the way, um, my doctor from the ER had referred me to immunology, but because I have to wait for the public system, it'll take months, but it's okay because I mean, I'm not suffering it at the moment, but you know, I have to be very careful when I was living in the apartment in the city. I can't, I didn't have, I did not have any um, cola. So I was checking on the internet. I did my own research. I was not eating any histamine rich foods, which is like spinach, tomato, and eggplants, which are my favorite. 
no processed foods, I can get any takeaway, um, no sauces because soy is made of beans. Beans is really rich in antihistamine. So I was just really eating basically steamed food, um, steamed, 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 and then vegetables that are uh, blanched or stir fried slightly, but these are the vegetables that are low in histamine. So yeah it was it was really a struggle because that's the only thing with allergic reaction you have to day by day like take out one and you know take out like if you want to know what's causing it like given that you don't have the reaction anymore you have to slowly introduce one by one so the day after that i was having coke i didn't have reaction the day after that then i was having soy sauce for my dinner um, stir fry soy sauce I didn't have a reaction so then I started slowly incorporating the food and then eventually I'm super okay now thank God but look what I got Shut up. anyway oh gosh oh gosh nakita na nun akong bat ang charot charot oh my god I love the packaging orange gives me a very Hermes kind of feel let me open this. Mm, oh my goodness me, I'm so happy. I've been wanting these glasses for so long. The first one, I've seen these glasses only with, in one person, Naomi Campbell. So it says a lot, right? She's maldita like me. No holds bar mouth, I like that. So sunglasses, this is a return card, which I won't, I will never be returning anyway, so. But this one is very expensive. This is like about $580, unfortunately. But luckily, I got this on sale. So 20%. 20% is still something, you know? And you know me, I'm not a, I'm not really a shoes kind of girl, a bag kind of girl. Though I love my bags, but I'm not like die hard collecting bags. I love sunglasses because sunglasses really nakaka sofial. Valentino, guys. So I think you've seen that I already have it here. I have one Valentino here. Where is it? Where is my other Valentino? Anyway. So I have two Valentinos. That one. Um, that was also on sale, but this one never. Um, this has never went on sale for two years until when I got my rashes. So, oh my God, guys. Maison Valentino. Maison Valentino. So to reveal, dun, 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 dun. oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Look, you know the best part is the side. It's V for Maison Valentino, or it can be Victoria, or it can also be LV. Actually, LV has a collection that has letter V on the side. But of course, I'm not going to say this is LV. I'm quite happy with Valentino and considering this is $580. So this is more expensive than some of the LB glasses that I know. Oh my God, is this nice? Oh my God, I can't wait. Let me just look at myself in the mirror. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. And it, Oh my God, it's so clear and it's so soothing to the eye. I love the turquoise, turquoise or whatever, tortoiseshell <laughs> like effect. Oh my God, and it's brown. I have a lot of brown. I have a lot of brown bags. I have a lot of brown outfits and brown goes with any color. Oh my God. So, so as you can see, so this was 580 Australian dollars, so I paid 604 New Zealand dollars right there, if you can see, 604 at the bottom. But I think this was 20% off, but still expensive, you know? But I mean, oh my God, Naomi Campbell wore this when she went for, um, I, can, I saw her in the um, vlog one time. She was wearing this and she looked so classy and I love sunglasses. <laughs> What can I do? I super duper love sunglasses. Because sunglasses can make or break your look. Because if you look so tired, Hagar de Versace, you can just wear glasses and you look like shoe. Shut up. 
especially with a light shoe sunglasses like this my god i'll keep this forever not that i'm selling any of my sunglasses anyway because i'll keep them forever i'm a sunglasses kind of girl so if any of you would like if there's anything that you would want from victoria you would not want maybe you would want my bags <laughs> although i don't have a lot but if it's the amount or like collection amount you would say sunglasses because i do have a lot of sunglasses which i've collected since 2010 since i was voltaire and they are still with me because i look after them and, and i've always been like that like i mean imagine this oh my god my skin is so dry this is 2010 from Paulson beer um uh, 2020 um when i got it from vietnam and this one is probably 2017 anyway down to the last one this is the, my most excited or the most excited that i am to open because to reveal i just got it today actually while i was doing shower the guy said oh i've got a package from you from australia he said so you have a clue if it's from australia what could it be that it's not being sold in new zealand or wherever else um another clue is that i never have any i don't have anything from this brand yet so this is the start of my oh my god love affair with them hopefully not because i might get to watch it up not that i'm rich anyway <laughs> Oh my god, so Wollongong. This is from Wollongong. Um, to reveal. Let me see what this. Hi! Oh my gosh. To reveal. Can you. To reveal. <laughs> That's from Hermes. Oh my god. I think this is the receipt. So this is from Hermes. So as you can see, Hermes, Sydney, Melbourne, wherever. There's a lot of them at the back. Gold Coast, Brisbane. So this one from, I don't know. Oh, this is from the Hermes in Sydney. So this is the receipt and the return card, I think. Well, I'm not returning this 100%. I'm not returning this 100%. So, I've also been wanting this for so long. Actually, what amazed me is that, I'll tell you later. Oh my God! <laughs> to reveal, dun, 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 dun. Check. <laughs> Oh my God, Hermes. Oh my God, oh my gosh, look at that. So shelf on so shelf, like a strap so that it's not gonna fall off or something. Lightiousness noted, or mass lightiousness noted. But can you guess what's inside this? Oh my goodness me. I'm really, really excited to reveal. My new Twilly! Oh my gosh! My new Hermes Twilly. Oh my god. It, oh my god, I just can't. I just can't. I have all these colors in my outfit. I have orange, I have brown, I have blue, I have white. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so this is the... I'll read the name of the product. Dance Pacifique Twilly, John D. Omcar Orange. So anyway, this is the Hermes Twilly, the very popular Hermes Twilly. Um, so you can use this as a, like that, which I don't really. Just for social and effect when you're wearing something white blouse, uh, a white blouse or something or a dress. You can also use it as a belt. Mm. you just have to do like that you can use it as a belt you can also use it as a bow on your arm just for extra fashion and you tie it to a ribbon and then you do like that 
But most importantly, the reason why I, I got this is for my summer run bag. I got this for this, basically, because um, this is a crocodile embossed leather. And um, I feel like because this is crocodile embossed, it makes it makes me look older. I don't know, do, not really look older, but it does age you a little bit when you're using something like of crocodile embossed and it's black. So I was hoping to get like maybe yellow, green or something, but at that time they don't have it. So I got the black, which I'm really happy because it's so resistant with scratch and whatever, but yeah. Um, it does age you a little bit if you go for um, crocodile. Um, what's this? Let me just take this off. Uh, can I take this off? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can, but what I'll do is I'll show you how I use my Hermes Twilly. So... At first, you do it like that. Yeah, I'll just do it here first. Yeah, you have to show the Hermes. Mm. Then you just like slowly wrap it around. I mean, I'm not gonna do it perfectly because you're watching. I don't want, I don't really wanna sort of take all of your time, but I'll just show you like the gist or something. I'll do this perfectly once I finish this video, but you get what I mean? So it gives it like something really like, you know, a good, a good pop of color. You're going, oh my God, look at that. You know, it gives it a really good pop of color and um, it makes it youthful. It doesn't make, because I mean, I'm still 36. I mean, I'm not young. I'm not old. I'm in between, I think. But of course, I want to be young. I want to prolong my shelf life. Shut up. I, I still want baby boys. Shut up. <laughs> Joking aside, so yeah, this is this is um the Twilly. It's so beautiful. So, cause black is beautiful, but it's just so bland, or I don't know, or it's it's just so boring <laughs> sometimes. So this pop of color is actually really beautiful. Oh my god! And let me just tell you how much I bought it for. So the price for this was. The price for this was 272.73 Australian dollars. There. I hope I did not put my credit card. No, it didn't show my credit card. No, thank goodness. <laughs> so yeah, that's the price. 272 Australian dollars. Considering, my God, I'm so amazed because this is more cheaper than the Louis Vuitton. Well, and I love the color more than the Louis Vuitton anyway, but oh my God, this is the start of my, is this the start of my Hermes journey? So shall I go with um, the Oran or the bags, the Hermes Kelly or Birkin or whatever? Dream on. <laughs> Can't afford them, but plus as I've said, my priorities has changed now. I mean, I'm happy with my bags. I'll stop with my bag collection. This is okay with me now. And um, yeah, I just have to accessorize it so that it doesn't look so boring. But anyway, that's my life update. Um, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't an easy journey. Um, you know, with what I got right now, I think I deserve every single bit of it because I work so hard. And um, probably it's also one sign that my body was telling me, Victoria, slow down because I've been working really hard. Like I've been working six days, six days, six days. And maybe who knows, like maybe it's the vaccine. Maybe 
the stress has triggered my urticaria or maybe something I've eaten, but I felt that it was a sign of my body to tell me to slow down because I've been really working hard. And, you know, money can't buy you happiness. That's really true. When I got sick, what did my bags do to me? I can't even use them. I mean, even now that it's locked down, I can't even um, use the bags. But, you know, money really can't buy you happiness. It can give you a little bit of satisfaction. Like now I'm happy that I got this. But, you know... Oh, this won't do me any good if I get sick, right? So, or this won't give me any good if I get lonely and stuff. And um, so, but what I'm trying to say is, yeah, you know, I deserve everything that I got because, yeah, life is short. You'll never know when is your last day in this earth. Um, it was just so quick that on Sunday night, I mean, it was just a small scratch and a small rash. And then Monday, I was all over my body and then, then Tuesday, it was, I was all red, then it's gone now, you know? So things can happen so quickly in your life. You can either live quickly or go quickly. So you have to enjoy and make the most out of it. And um, yeah, um, I do thank my friends who um, kept in touch and uh, who was talking to me, especially Mama RJ. <laughs> he's, he's the one that knows everything and um, yeah, the one who helped me and things like that. He knows. So, but he's the one that I can trust very much anyway. But yeah, a lot of my friends as well, Mommy Ivy, those who, Mommy Aidan, Mommy Fenix, yeah, the ones that are like, look after yourself, girl, you know. <laughs> so I really thank them. And the ones that I have not mentioned, but in, in all fairness, I kept, um, I kept these to myself. Um, I didn't really want to tell anyone about my struggle i did struggle um that's why i was gone for a while and but now i'm okay and um it just made me realize so many things in life that yeah you have to really be you have to really enjoy life and you have to live your life and it's not all about the money so now i'm not working six days i'm just working five days at the moment just trying to get back into my momentum and resting up and um eating nicely because I haven't I have been really eating bad foods processed foods KFC McDonald's so um yeah there's there's a lot of things that um I have to change and it was a good realization um sadly I have to go through like what Chris Aquino did and then also one thing let me just say this you know you don't judge people because I didn't judge Chris Aquino because she's I'm a fan of her and um being on the medical field I know how things are you know things can be differently um if i get diarrhea i would not have the same stuff as the other person would be you know the symptoms would be not people react differently so when chris aquino was saying that she had urticaria and then i know what it was of course and um she was saying i had urticaria and i was so sore i was so tired i can't move you know, and I saw that people commenting and people were like, oh, you're such a drama queen because you were born rich. You're such a drama queen because you have money and you shouldn't. It's just a rash. Honestly, when I experienced it, it was all true. I never thought that having urticaria, Latin face urticaria, would make me feel so useless would make me feel so worthless because I can't even do a thing. Someone was cooking me my lunch, my breakfast and my food and I'm just lying in bed and eating and going back to sleep. That's how bad it was, you know? Um, yeah, so you should not judge people. Um, lucky I didn't, or I mean, I, didn't, I have never judged her when she said that, but as I've said, you know, you will never know how it feels until you experience it so yeah that's just um good words for me and um the good thing is i'm back and i'm back with i'm back with a bang shut up i'm back with a bang shut up i'm back with a bang. <laughs> but yeah i'm back with a bang and i'm okay now i'm healthy now i don't have the rashes now I pray to God that I will continue to be this way and um, you look after yourself and um, yeah, health is wealth. Nothing 
you can never do anything on, in this world if you're not healthy or if you're not well. So you have to look after your health. And thank you so much for watching. If you reach this part, my God, it's like a very long video. But if you reach this part, thank you so much. And I'll see you on my next videos, hopefully when I don't get too lazy. Bye. Mwah.